Hundreds of women flocked to the Sheikh Nasir's Kelage Stadium to present a petition bearing concerns faced by PLG women that have long been neglected by successive governments. This gathering has come in part as a response to the rape of a lay nurse last week and it also gave an opportunity for victims of physical and sexual violence to talk about the problem. Because of you and me, women, the world is here. The petition was then presented to lay MP and Community Development Minister Lujaya Tony. Minister Tony has assured the women that the petition would be taken to parliament to seek national government attention on the ongoing violence against women. The petition presented to the representative of the cabinet today is expected to be the attention of the Prime Minister. That our Prime Minister is not indifferent. This government is one that is very much aware of what is going on in the country, is very much hands-on, is very much looking today. Lawanam something by come up, Long this Now, when I'm something, my me carry me go back long government. Papua New Guinea's high rate of physical and sexual abuse has attracted international attention. Pictures like these that show a woman accused of sorcery being tortured aren't always reported. The other best violence, I mean, I want my issue in the lay, more of the province, Papua New Guinea. It is a global issue. The continuous violence committed against women in Papua New Guinea is seen as a result of improper implementation of PNG's criminal laws. Every day you go to work, you will hear there is somebody suffering, a woman in the village, in your settlement, your neighbor, and you say, sorry. It's the time to say sorry ends today. While the petition is yet to be brought before cabinet, many women now have high hopes that long-term measures will be enacted by the national government to protect them against all forms of violence. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Lay.